feel like sometimes as a band that some people think of us as like a band that just talk about partying and that's it eating pizza so, and, uh, and they can take it on that level and that's cool because that's what they can have that's what they can take away from it and there's other people who will, will like delve a little bit deeper and then look at what we've written about and what we're singing about and it's mostly happened. about the tra- like the traumas of growing up really I think that's kind of something that runs true for all, everything you write and I think sometimes when people fight, when people get that and then, then that they're the ones that go out like, really yeah, thanks for, the, for writing those tunes, and that's like the coolest thing ever because I mean, someone's like taken the message or like the feeling that I had when I wrote it or when Charlie had when he wrote it, and yeah, and, and connect, has connected with that emotion that we felt. It's really, really cool. Like. We come from Cornwall. It's like it's about as far away from the world as you can get if you live in England. There's not, there's, n- there's nothing to do apart from being a band. When you're in school, you, you do it because because of that, and you can get away from people. And then as you get older, and that, that you, you start to do it because you get to meet people and you get to build a community. And that's kind of one of the most important things that I found out as I was growing up is that no matter what, now, because of music, and because I, I, I have a community of people that I know and, and I consider my friend. Basically, we kind of try and stop ourselves feeling crappy in the first place by always doing something that makes you feel happy, right? Doing something that's familiar is always something It's the same skateboarding as a sensory thing, isn't it? It's a really good way of making friends and like hanging out with your friends as well. And it's always your friends that cheer you up at the end of the day anyway. There's always another side of a tunnel. Always there'll be, you can, you, you, you will come out of whatever you're feeling. Absolutely, it's, it's going to happen. And you kind of have to hang in there and get as much advice and help of people as possible and be around your friends as much as possible. I don't feel like there's no one like, that's not there for you because there's always someone there for you. Yeah, exactly. There's always somebody around. And uh, <laughs> chat to someone, like, yeah. have a chat. If you feel like you want to help yourself, talk to somebody else. I think that's always the way. I think the song that, uh, that I enjoy playing most live is Community because I wrote it when I was in a specific frame of mind. And now it's been kind of translated to meaning something completely different to a lot of people mm-hmm. because they're like, it's, it's turned anthemic when it was actually about the kind of social anxiety and no one wanted to go and see anybody, like wanted to, wanted to like retreat from the world. And then like, then you have just hundreds of people singing it at you and it's, like, <laughs> it's transcended its meaning for some reason. I suppose there's times where it's like, there is records that you look back on and you're like, oh, I remember I used to have so much fun when I was like, yeah, 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 exactly. So like, you could go back to that, and when you listen to it, it makes you psyched again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. When you have, there you go. Crap, having a one. crappy day, listen to that. Listen to a record that you love and that you, you know, you've had good times with, haven't you? Hi, I'm Tom. I'm Charlie. We're from Now Wolves, and we use music to keep our heads above the waves.